Hey, this is Russ. I don't know if you guys watched the Saturday episode of Russ is Right, but I wanted to add something to that today. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on that video. Uh, lately, I have still been getting some zingers. Now, the zingers had gone away for quite a while, but all of a sudden, <laughs> they're coming back. So, um, okay, for those who don't know what a zinger is, if you're a knee replacement guy and you don't know what it is, believe me, you'll know what it is later. <laughs> I think it's the nerve endings or something trying to reconnect. I mean, because really they cut through everything when they, when they open your knee up, right? So uh, eventually um, these little nerve things start, um, you know, reforming or something. And then every now and then you'll go like, oh, oh, my knee. <laughs> Like like a little shocker just hits you, okay? So I haven't experienced that for a while. And it's been, um, what, about 17 and a half months now since my knee replacement. So I figured I was pretty much done with the zingers. But no, I still have them. They're coming back. I, I can feel it, um, you know, uh, at the most inopportune times let's put it that way you know you're you're just sitting there maybe you're watching tv or you're working on the computer or doing something and like ooh. <laughs> all right now these are not things that like hurt or anything like that but you you feel it's, it's almost like an electric shock you know you kind of feel like ooh, oh oh wow, what was that <laughs> you know so um just to let you know those things aren't 100 percent gone they're still there so apparently it does take a little more time to get through that. Now, I want to mention too about my scar. All right. Um, I haven't shown it this month yet. And again, I'm holding that off for the, the 16th. That's the uh, 16th, the 19th. Oh, the 19th. I usually take the picture on the 17th, something like that. And then I'll do the video and I'll show it to you guys on the 19th. But um, it looks pretty much the same. <laughs> I don't think that darkening of the scar, and you kind of remember what that looked like. I, I won't even show it up here because I'm going to show it to you in a few more days. But um, it is not getting any lighter. I'm beginning to think that it's going to stay that way. And and there's still warmth to the knee. Let me let me say that. Uh, the knee, when I touch it, you know, even in the morning, I just get up and I kind of feel my knee. Uh, I can feel that it's still warm. So um, they they they've said that you know if your knee is still warm you're still healing well I mean, come on man it's been 17 and something months now and um i'm still healing from it it doesn't it's not the same temperature as the non-operated knee so um just to let you guys know uh, it's a long journey that's for sure some people have said 18 to 24 months i kind of believe that we'll see what happens at the end of 24 months if it's still going then obviously I'm way past everybody else's uh, knee replacement uh, recovery. It, it takes me a little bit longer, I guess. I don't know. But okay, so the warmth is still there. The zingers are still there. Uh, I have that uh, stinging sensation underneath the kneecap. Okay, I'm trying to wean myself off of the, uh, the jazz unit. So um, I've been uh, doing about, you know, once per day on the jazz for maybe 20, 25 minutes. And uh, I, I just started to maybe skip every other day just to see how that goes. And I do feel a little tightness, m more tightness in terms of turning the knob on the knee, uh, on, the, on the jazz for the knee. And um, that's probably because your, your leg isn't used to being pushed in. It's been relaxing for a while. So then you need to give it a little bit more to push it a little bit more. And that's the thing that, that concerns me and why I don't want to return that unit quite yet to jazz because uh, I'm afraid that that, that could be the start of look you're you're reverting backwards again all right i don't want to do that i want to maintain at least 120 i don't want to i don't want to drop back down and i know that the jazz will help keep me at the 120 as long as i keep using it but i can't use it forever right eventually you're going to have to get off of it so uh it'll be interesting when when i if and when i finally do the right knee uh i do know that i will tell my doctor i would want him to write me another prescription for another jazz unit um, because I know that that's the thing that's really been keeping me um, pushed when I'm not at physical therapy. All right, I I know other people have used uh, things like um, like belts or anything like that, put it on their leg and pull it back themselves. But that that varies. You know, if you if you let up tension from from holding onto that belt, um, 
you're you're no longer at that that tension range. But on the jazz unit, once you turn it in there, you know, you turn that knob and then you just let let go. It's gonna stay there until you turn the knob to get yourself out of it. Okay. And that's the type of pushing I want. I want something that's consistent and always at that level. And that's the only thing that I know of that I can use that will do that for me. So if and when the time comes for the right knee, who knows when, and let's hope years from now, I will ask my doctor, write me a prescription for the jazz again, because I, I will want it back. <laughs> right? Hopefully I'll contact jazz and say, hey, let's do this thing again. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see where we go at that point. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, we'll do the final update for the month on the, on the 19th of the month. And then that's when I'll show you some photos and stuff. All right. Talk to you guys next time.